Uh, Sam has also voiced an interest in becoming the main character and making an exemplar, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why, were you I, I say main no. character no. as a joke. As a joke. No, I totally would be main character. You guys would just be my slaves. Oh uh, my main door door. Yeah, like I, I would put you in a jar because he's he, he believes he's all powerful. Like, you're talking about like in this game, right? If you like, you sure. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I don't. I just don't see I'm you as the when I main be. character because, like, when I think of merch, I think of Skelly Shelly merch. Oh <laughs> my god! I think of Camoey merch. You know, like. Let's see, like for marketable plushie. It, it, he wouldn't no, be comely. No, 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 no. Look, if you're thinking of marketable plushies, you gotta have it. Hey, like, literally the pop. I literally a plushie. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Already, Myrtle flashlights. Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Always, <laughs> Always wet and ready. Back though. Back though. All right. Not the lubricant. Holy <laughs> shit. Self lubricating. Oh my big on. god. <laughs> I oh my goodness. That would probably be the banter part right there. Oh my god. <laughs> After defeating the poltergeist down below in Belcora's retreat, the party then discovered another portal chamber two rooms down. But of course, as the chamber was being discovered, Kamui and Stitches had to play with a skeleton in a bathtub. All right, gonna put Mark in and cut all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> be listening for it later yeah you can go fuck yourself uh, that is not making it into the episode <laughs> it is not making it in there all right uh let's see let me just make one more adjustment to my clock here since it's being stupid you are so stupid all right is that a fucking dexter reference absolutely <laughs> can i get inspiration from you? you can get a hero point for that sure okay, thank you <laughs> Hero, yeah, hero points are on the corners next to you guys. Oh yeah, table. did you give me my two? No, you can take your two because <laughs> Sam was able to make it for that full review. He gets two hero points until he's level six. Whoa, so, so for life, it's for life. Because <laughs> no, no, fuck you. We've been level four for like a year. It feels you guys like. are really well. The thing is, you guys had to do a bunch of rewrite for the end of book one. So it just. It, I still have three. Yeah, it prolonged. <laughs> it just prolonged thing. I don't. I'm always used to because <laughs> my morals are shit at times. <laughs> All right. So, do you guys need recap? You, uh, essentially, what happened was Shelly was uh, heading down that pipe. No. Uh, the shoot. I don't. I don't think anything like story uh, specific Pacific happened Pacific. during last episode that like we need. Like besides, like you, you gotta do it like the Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> no, uh, no, nothing, nothing like major happened. Yeah, I feel like we're still we're Out, like in exploration mode. So yeah, outside of you guys uh, unlocking the level four portal chamber, defeating the poltergeist, and coming, or, or and then uh, braving uh, Shelly, braving the shoot. But as soon as you went to go brave the shoot, the hatch slammed down magically, cutting off the rope, and you went sliding on down. It's the hatchling and slasher. Uh, what'd you call me? Huh? Hmm. Oh? Hmm? All right. As. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and kick it in here. Shelly ah! goes tumbling down the chute. And you end up falling down into some murky water over. Uh, like I said, you guys should see. Yeah, you, so again, you don't know where you are in reference to the party, obviously, but you, you can you can look at the pipe, obviously. But about 10 seconds later, shh, as you land in this water, Shelly, it is disgusting. Disgusting? It's disgusting. Uh, a rusty metal chute protrudes from the ceiling to the west here, coming to an end over a pool of slimy water. A huge mound of fungus lies under the tube against the west wall, resting in a strangely monstrous shape. 
you. What is your um? What is your eso? Yeah, give me an esoteric lore check as you mm. see this. These like partially broken tentacles in the water is fucking nasty. Uh, like a 21. 21? 22. 22. 22. <laughs> yes, that is a success. Yeah, I'd hope so. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and get the recall knowledge for this thing. This is an atu- uh, odia. So a lot of people call it odia. I forget the, what the actual pronunciation of it is. An odia. I'll just call it an odia for now. Um, these are, does it have the, okay. Uh, lords of sewers, ditches and landfills. Odiugs are filthy monstrosities that stomp out or stomp out on three massive legs in search of tasty garbage and refuse. Uh, using two barbed tentacles to grasp and tear guided by a third with proliferation of eyes at the end. The Otiug has perfectly adapted to life in its cramped, disgusting environment where it uses appendages to see into tight spaces and grasp hidden prey. And you see this Otiug has been marinating here for what you could guess is months as it is bloated and a few uh, pokes away from just kind of just Exploding out and being all nasty. Does it very? Does it like notice me? Oh, what? it's dead as fuck. Oh, it's a, it's a bloated corpse in the water. Oh, like you landed next to the bloated corpse in the I, water. Um, I kind of like wiggle my sword to try to like poke the dead body. Uh, I don't think I don't think the sword wants to. <laughs> uh, have the sword make a. Uh, I'm a like I'm, I'm like shaking it. I'm like, come on, come on. <laughs> like you know you know when you go to like a sporting goods store and like a father's yelling at a child it's like that it's like oh <laughs> hopefully nothing's going wrong there fortitude i don't know what what would he is, would be my fortitude your fortitude uh, as you're trying to 18 i guess 18 fails you do not force it into compliance ah, bitch and like you you basically go to like uh try to force it into its uh like whip form and it it stays like the blade stays solid and doesn't even ah, go into it's a whip form. today aren't we so, like, she's going to take out, like, her staff. Did you know Skelly Shelly has a staff? I do uh, now. Okay, well, it, 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 like, kind of comes out of her bag, like... Oh, like, bag like, holding Like, style. it keeps it keeps going, and she's going to, like, poke it. Okay. Uh, you see very quickly, it's like tearing through wet tissue. It just... Like, anything you poke, it pokes right on through. It is Skelly disgusting. Shelly's like a like a mentally a child sometimes because all she can think of is like nice <laughs> while you're doing that I'm just gonna like quick open the thing a bit and school are you okay I hear a bitch like far away bitch. <laughs> bitch number two get down here there's some water lore <gasps> yeah as you have water lore, lore lore as you guys have like it takes you like a solid 30 <laughs> seconds to communicate like 10 words at a time just because it's such a long shoot I'm just watching as Myrtle just sloshes through the the <laughs> hole, leaving me in uh, stitches up here. And Don't like uh, like Myrtle I know. makes some water first to just I have know. a clean slip it. slide to clean it. Oh, yeah. nice, nice. I give Kamoya uh, the glance. Like, should we go? And a little shoulder shrug. Like, <laughs> so I, I just walk over and pick up the puppet. And oh. Just, I guess, go to the hole and jump down with him. <laughs> Okay. As you guys, I will go ahead and invis you guys just so you guys don't see the in between of the map here. Uh, and I will move you accordingly. Pretty crazy water lore, right? Fucking gross. It's disgusting, right? What's the lore? It's nasty. <laughs> Myrtle's like, just being a bad like, I can imagine it. before Myrtle hits the water, she like literally shoots up water and is like, oh no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Water jetpack just. Yeah, well, yeah, pretty much like water jetpack. Like, uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. Not, not touching that. People not Mario. happening. People Mario Sunshine ass. <laughs> I hate her. Ah. Uh, I remember this place. You do? This is where you guys fought the we werewolf. took care of that dog. Gretchen fought so hard. Who? Don't know. Oh, the werewolf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just hear Kami just, oh. Gretchen, 
the, not, you, you're talking about not not Gretchen. You're talking about the werewolf, right? Gretchen, Mesmer. Gretchen, yeah, you're all Mesmer. I guess there was, was there. two dogs, right? There, there was, was a wolf. He had his own Gretchen. Had, we had a dog fight. Yeah, dog fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. dog fight. How yeah, could I forget right about dog fight? That was like only yesterday. <laughs> 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 The joke there is we haven't recorded in six weeks. Not to date this episode. <laughs> Aldous Gate 3. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. Carlac fans in chat? No, it's One piece. Gone. Slide One action. Piece live action. Oh <laughs> what else can we do? Jimmy Buffett's dead? Oh my oh. god. Margaritaville. Let's go. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Jimmy Buffett's dead? Jimmy yes. Buffett's dead. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No dude. shit. Yeah. Um, Crocs had half mass today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> you might, you might want to put a mark there just, just, no, just no, to say it. Just say it. Hundred percent. What, 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 what can we explore here? What do we have? Was there? What, there is a. There is a direction to the. There is a some sort of corridor, like what looks to be like water to the south of you. Oh yeah, we never went that way. We never that, went south. Yeah, we like we dealt with the werewolf and then we just left. I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, because yeah, you as you left. do with the werewolf, because we had to bring a body. Oh, back. Yeah, we had to bring him back. Right? Yeah, yeah, brought him back yeah. to town and had him uh, uh, process, brought process, process. And then we know that going the <laughs> other process, way yeah. would take us deeper. Ah, oh, yeah, life. and that's like the goal, pretty much, right? Uh, you know, yeah. Kinda. I mean, Kam- Kamui's dealt with the gibbering mouther, so I think he's okay with. Going, we, going back to stupid moments. You should try drugs. I think you. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> I think it could help. Wow! This, Kelly Shelley might have something. <laughs> what, what are those? Huh? No, not but, you. Not you. But, but what are you talking about? I'm more curious about the puppet doing the drugs <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways. <laughs> no, okay, we'll talk about that later. Um, we got shit to explore. We'll the, go. Is there anything up okay. on the uh where that that little bridge walkway was? Because I know that there was like a doorway or something up there. Uh, yeah, there was a there was a, a walkway that went uh to a door that was about fifteen feet long and it just ended at a door. You guys didn't. We never guys, went through that, right? Never went through there. And then you guys, there is an entrance to the, I'll let you guys see it. Yeah, you guys can see it. So it, it ended at a door here on the north side of the pavilion. And then there is an, a, a natural, a natural-ish stairway, um, like natural cavern stairway uh, on the northwest side of the pavilion on the ground level. And like I say, you guys also have the, there's, it seems to be a, and I say it's shallow, it's about a foot deep water uh, to your south. Uh, Myrtle's gonna go check out that water to the south. Checking out the water to the south. All right. I don't know why your token's all <laughs> rotated and shit. That was fucking weird. Yep, that was strange. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> as Myrtle ventures down to the south, water attracting her most likely, uh, and the party kind of pseudo following, I would say, kind of. Just kind of still looking at the bloated, strange-looking creature, as I'm assuming Shelly has given him a detailed explanation of what an Odiog is. <clears throat> you feel something cold in the air. It almost feels like you're back in that chamber where you guys uh, fought the Will-O-Wisp from before. You feel like that same kind of cold energy permeating above the water. Not from the water, but like like it feels like something in the area up ahead. Hey guys, it feels cold over here. Like an unnatural cold. Do you mean cold like how you ignored Gretchen? Or (laughs) No, cold as in look at her dress. Cold as in brrrr. Ah. Is Midge pretty much wearing nothing and she's like acting like she's cold? Anybody have girlfriends like that? Leave a comment if you do. Please. Get that I'm bitch single, a, so I don't know shit. Get that bitch a jacket. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna investigate. Why is this why is this hoe cold? A hoe's never supposed to get cold. <laughs> oh my god. 
All right, so uh, who's taking lead into here? Uh, I guess Myrtle's probably like really uh, interested, in, right? I mean, if you want to check it out, if you think you have your expertise in this, no, cold spot. you're kind of. This looks like water lore. I don't know much about water. Uh, Myrtle's gonna find a pebble, uh-huh. cast light on it, and just toss it in, and it'll get a better view in there. Okay, take a little pebble, throw it in there. And uh, I will go ahead and uh, it's 40 foot, 20 foot. And I'm assuming your color is like a, a blue light. As you toss in a rock and the animation will be mm. pulse. As you toss in a rock. That you can look around the corner and see uh, a low rocky aisle less than a foot above the surrounding water here. Its surface covered with a fine layer of pale green mushrooms and mold. A human skeleton dressed in rotten leather armor and clutching a rapier lies in a heap at the center of the aisle. As you feel the chill, that unnatural chill, grow even more potent as you feel the temperature in the area. And this is everybody. Drop a few degrees as we go into initiative. Welcome back, boys. <laughs> Shelly. Uh, 30. 30. Uh, Just so excited to see one of my own kind. A cold-hearted bitch. There's one right in front of you, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come away to 23. All right. Which one's the uh, again? Stitches. What you got for initiative for over there for me? Uh, what are you, are you, are you like stealthing into combat or are you, per, are you using perception into combat? I'm stealthing. Oh, I'm stealthing into combat. All right, then give me a, a stealth roll. That's your initiative. 15. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. And Myrtle Bench. What you got? 24. 24. All right, as, let me see, these things should be, as you see, floating motes of these, like, strange-looking hair, uh, like, hair, what looks like hair, like, glowing hair, reappear. You guys have seen these. These are flicker wisps as they begin to appear semi-translucent in the air, uh, and, uh, that's all you see for now. Yeah, that's what you see is the Flicker Wisps. Uh, I will go ahead and get their initiative here. Ooh, a whole nine for an 18 for those two. All right, 18. And again, you guys can feel the same cold you felt from the Will-O-Wisp from before, so there's probably at least one of those in here. I will go ahead and roll its initiative. That is a 28. All righty. Shelly. Okay, so there's like a... All right. Uh, do I already have knowledge on this thing? Uh, do you have... Yeah, yeah you, you have... have you've, you've had... But, like, I you've identified need a, these. but like, I probably need a reroll because it's not You need not to reroll quite. and I'll give you a plus two to the, uh, to the, to the, to the check there. Uh, okay, uh... 33? 33, I believe, yeah. is a critical... Yeah, that's a critical success. Yeah, I've, I know this thing. Come on. All right. Uh, it's very clearly a... Uh, so you're the, the most important thing to remember is they have magic immunity. Yeah. Uh, except to fairy fire, gust of wind, magic missile, and maze. Fuck, did I rebuy a fairy fire scroll? Oh, no! <laughs> This might be. Uh, this is where that Perseant planner feet would come in right now. Crazy. <laughs> I don't know her. No. Okay. So we're gonna have to do this fight for real this time. Oh great. That's gonna be rough. <laughs> the thaumaturge failed us. <laughs> oh. Wow. I have oh, a, that way. Well, thaumaturge. Yeah. I really, should have, I really should have used that money we got from those dead kobold children to. Fucking <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> wow. My goodness. Oh, well, um, can I target one? 
Yeah, you can, you can target them, yeah. Okay. Negative two Nuggy points uh, I'll right move there. up and target one. All right, so Shelly moves on up around the corner to target one in the air. Uh, like I said, so this, again, we're in like a, a, about 40 foot wide, a uh, little, again, the water's about one foot deep. Uh, so if you're a small character, it will be difficult terrain. If you're medium, there's no difficult terrain, unless you're a water bitch. I'm kind of fine. an underwater marauder. I well, mean, you are, no, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Because you're medium, you're medium size. Uh, so, yep. So you walk up to the flicker wisp on the north side of the room, and there's one yeah. 10 feet to the south of it. All right. Uh, I guess I'll make an attack. All righty. 21. 21 is a hit. Okay. Well, we take those. We do. Uh, 16. 16. 16. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah. uh, 16 points of, uh, and that's mostly what kind of damage? Uh, slashing, four of it is just physical. Right, okay. The um, the typed damage, yeah. uh, uh, technically untyped, okay. So 16 points of uh, damage. Very good. As, uh, let me go ahead and reveal its uh, hit point... Uh, bar doesn't show numbers, so mm -hmm. uh, he said 16 points of damage. Uh, yeah. It does not have any weaknesses or resistance, as you know. As yeah, of 16 of those points go through, boom, you almost Damn. destroy it with a I single can see strike. your dotted line, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's my uh, turn. All right, so move, ident uh, move, exploit vulnerability, and strike. Yep. Very cool. All right, as you feel. Yep something that cold feeling start coming back it's probably nothing uh, it's fine it's fine uh it's gonna you, you feel something trying to frighten you no uh, so first thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna come on out of its invisibility okay uh and go to try and shock you shelly that's gonna be a thirty-six to hit natural nineteen on yeah, that die. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna yep. be a crit. Crit. A crit coming out of the gate. Uh, uh, Ellie's gonna be so shook uh, by this, she's gonna collapse and turn that into a regular hit. That's <laughs> probably a good idea. Very nice. So we got two D eight. Is that saving throw or no? Or was it AC hit? That was an AC hit. Oh, yeah. You're screwed. AC hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, at least you can collapse. Oh my god, double ones. So, so double ones <laughs> plus four is six points of electric damage going through. That was only... That wasn't scary. <laughs> it's fine. It's she's fine. A, she like a, she's like a pile of bones and like rot. As, as you just see the skeleton on top of the pile. That one's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh... Does uh, it take an action to come out of that? Or no? Yeah, I'm prone. Oh, okay, you're prone, okay. All right, then. So that's the first action, and because it hit you, we'll go to try and intimidate you as well. I'm not scared of you, bitch. Oh, my gosh. Another natural 19 for oh, okay. 31 against your will, DC. Yeah, that's the... That's, that meets... That, I have 21. Case. Oh, my will. Will DC. Yeah. Probably that's 18, so yeah. yeah, yeah that's a crit. It. That's a crit again, so crit you're frightened, success. too. Oh, but that's a save. Was it a save? Was it a save? Yeah. Uh, it's not any. I have 18 out of 32. Someone wouldn't help. No. Oh, no, okay. no, no, no. I appreciate it, but no, this uh, this one scared me. <laughs> this one's scary. Uh, where's Frightened 2? Frightened 2. Frightened 2. Frightened 2. All right, then. It will go ahead and try and shock you one more time just because it's in. Actually, you know what? It's last action. Uh, it will extinguish its glow and go invisible. Yeah, this is going to be fun. All right, so you guys should be able to see that like little glowy little pulse thing so you guys know where it was last time you saw it. All right, Myrtle, you're up. Hmm. How much are very fire scrolls usually? 16. Or 16 gold? They're twelve. Is it a level two spell? Yeah, twelve gold. Mm. Oh, she's broke. She might be broke. Everybody know <laughs> that Myrtle's a broke bitch. Don't mm -hmm. take her to Applebee's. Damn, damn, you can't afford Applebee's, <laughs> right? You, you kind of, 
You mm. can't even take her to Taco Bell these days. <laughs> Economy, right, guys? <laughs> Damn. Put in the comments if you can't afford Taco Bell. Mm. Okay. This is rough because I took winter sleep. Okay. Uh, Myrtle's going to go down two spaces to the south. B. Mm, okay. Yeah, there. All right. Uh, channel elements. Okay. So I get my aura, which I can't toggle this off. Ten foot emanation of from me of slippery surface. Oh, so you kind of like turn the water into ice. They're That's pretty floating. sick. I can't control it. It's yes or no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, cool. so that's gonna affect us too? Uh, it's it's the, only gonna affect the us. The text says creatures, oh, not right. enemies. Not so. allies, and, allies and enemies. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, right, let, me, uh, let me get that. Uh, <laughs> Yay! You suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Damn! You suck. Tell me what I'm saying. Really it feels <laughs> you killed the dog. Botched all of my <laughs> my grease on the floor. <laughs> my Just make a DC 15 check. <laughs> Come on, it's not that yeah, hard. No, all right, we'll, Have we'll you see how, seen it goes. how this dude walks. Like, yo, uh, what's up with how I walk? Clank, I don't know what they do. Who's over. the one laying on the floor? You got heavy boots. You should have like a. If Plus anything, I'm gonna bust my ass and break a bone in the process. <laughs> Doing that one takes four damage or some shit. Uh, anyway, uh, then I could do my free blast off of the channel elements towards the one that was hit in an experiment kind of thing. Uh, there we go. There's the aura. I was trying to find the aura effect. There we go. <laughs> Slippery surface in there. Have fun. Yay. If, if I knock her out, will that go away? What sure. Is 13. <laughs> 13, not gonna do it. Nope. Uh, just uh, third action, a regular blast again on the one that's hurt, maybe. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20 is the AC. Nice. Roll for damage. Uh, my 1d8 bludgeoning, maybe. Three bludgeoning? Three bludgeoning might be enough to do the trick here. It is does it count as magical still, though. Does that's it have a magic it. trait? Uh, let me read it. Because it should yeah. be the earth trait. Uh, impulses... Where is it? Attack, impulse, kinetic, primal. So I... Primal... Yeah. No, I'm not gonna... Uh, no, I'm gonna roll it as bludgeoning for the... For the for this case, it's... Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I'll let it go through. As you destroy one of the flicker wisps, as it... <laughs> flickers out it just flickers out of existence a and then i did not overflow so my aura stays on <laughs> nice <laughs> i thought it was only five foot no it's 10 feet yeah yeah <laughs> you're away. solid right like if i bump into you okay yeah and right. i'd slide yeah. and slide with me go blue girl go <laughs> all right um we love Smurf. Shelly, you hear a ghostly <laughs> voice work. in your ear. Mm -hmm. And somehow it feels very comforting. I'm sure that's safe. And you hear the sound of a man. Please allow me to possess your shadow so that I may help you, Aventra. And you hear like you kind of feel it coming from the skeleton that's sitting there in that rotten leather armor. Uh, you, can, you can trust a skeleton, homie. That's, you why, can, you that's can, why I asked you. You can trust a skeleton, homie. Come on, man. Get in this. Get in the shadow pile. All right. <laughs> so uh, you see. Uh, Don't let people take your shadows, by the way. <laughs> You see, uh, let me see if I can get the. Is Do you have a shadow if you don't have a soul? I have a soul. Do I'm you? mostly soul. You're like in a, a, a conjunction of multiple bodies, though. So. Yeah. Okay. My body's fucked up. As you see fun. your shadow shift into this figure, I'll show you the art now. You see this man with a what, like what we would typically call like a bardic kind of look, leather vest, uh, jester-like pantaloons with. Tight boots. Uh, he's got a goatee, long, uh, long mustache that's curled, uh, but definitely a ghost. Again, a ghostly, like aged appearance, uh, with hair very, like very, like looks kind of like uh, gangly a bit, uh, with some throwing knives. 
and uh. your shadow looks like this for the time being. As you see your shadow uh, make a ghostly strike towards this Will-O-Wisp. Uh, so it's going to be a 50% miss chance. I'll go ahead and roll that now. That's a natural two as it automatically misses. Skelly's going to gasp and go, oh, homosexual. As, uh, <laughs> as uh, all of a sudden you see your shadow just get uh, ripped away and you see the um, you see this uh, this ghostly figure move uh, or to say kind of reconjure himself and begin to hover and move to the west side of the room what is that? towards That's these uh, towards these uh, the will-o'-wisp and the flicker-wisp remaining I gave you my shadow the least you could do is hit <clears throat> damn tell me how you really feel alright he's like I tried my best clearly you didn't Rude. If you were my shadow, I would have done way better. Come we kill. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, so I just want to ask because I'm not sure if we can do this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I pick up the puppet, mm-hmm. come down, and throw him onto the rocks at the bottom right? Yeah, that's, I'm okay with that. What kind of do like I can just do it or do I need to do a check? Yeah, so the way I'm ruling this is this uh, um, stitches would be no more than in real life what I'd call probably maybe forty pounds at most with mm-hmm. all this gear on. And uh, yeah, you strong boy. Yeah. So yeah, you could easily toss him. I'd say within twenty five feet, easy. Okay, but so I, you want to toss me further than that? You're gonna need to make checks. Okay, so I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick him up. I'm gonna come down and then I'm gonna throw him to the bottom right. And how far are you going into the entrance uh, of this area? Like, you going here, or are you going further in? As soon as I enter, I have to do a check, or... Mm-mm. Oh, okay, because for the slippery ground? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, you have to... You, it, how I put it? Per stride movement, not per five feet. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. Um, so you might as well try and go the full your full movement, yeah. which is what, 20 yeah, or 25? Yeah, that's, that, that's where I want to go. Is your movement 25? Uh, my movement, I believe, is 30, actually. Is like dismiss something in action or free yes, action? it's one action. Okay. Uh, yeah, dismissing an effect is ninety nine percent of the time movement. one action. Okay. Yeah, my movement's thirty feet. All right. So do you want to go uh, where the old flicker wisp was, or where, where do you want to position yourself? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go right in front of it, so that way I'm blocking Myrtle. Okay. As you make your way in, and where are you positioning slash throwing stitches? Right there. Yeah, yeah, just right underneath me. Okay. Yeah. As and you guys have phoned your own vanguard. <laughs> and Very unfortunately, nice. you're walking on ice. All right, so let's get a balance check to see if you make yeah, it. Yeah, I know, but that's why I wanted to bring him in. So yeah. if I botch it, I'm the only one that misses out. All right. Somebody likes ice. It's uh, The balance DC is going to be against her. It, uh, it's a balance 15. Balance 15, it's right? Just, it was, it. Is it static 15? Okay, good. Yep. So. Acrobatics. Oh, okay, acrobatics. Uh, DC, DC 15. My you acrobatic. have that, right? <laughs> Dope. Oh, boy. Good luck. They have ice where you're from, right? Ideally, no. I mean, yes. Yeah, oh, but... Wow. That's a P. You made it. Natural 20. Oh, shit. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Natural 20. That's shit. where you get your yeah, 20s. You see Kamui ice skates along <laughs> the water there. He does a fucking flip. Look at Balance is key. When Was that a triple axel? Oh my god! <laughs> All right, I am one with the sword. So grab, move, and what else? Oh, okay. I didn't know if that it was one to interact no, with. One to interact to grab. It's two to move. Oh, okay. okay. That's it. No balance is part of the movement. Oh, okay. Yeah, so no, yeah no, I thought no. that would be something no, separate. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, am I able to attack the wisp below or the, uh, the flicker wisp? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The flicker wisp below, absolutely. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna try to hit that one. Sick. Because the one in front <clears> of me <throat> is concealed, still, right? It is invisible. Right. So it, I would have to do the check. Yeah, it'd be a fifty percent miss chance. <laughs> yeah, no. and that's if it's in that square. You don't even know if it's in that square or not. That's true. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, is this one in the air? Like high up in the air? Uh, it's it's m- or medium creature distance. height. Yeah, medium oh. slash. No, no, it's it's hovering. High level. It's high level. All right. Total of 20, that is a hit. 
I don't know how I feel about Foundry's new little green traded highlights. That shit looks weird as fuck. I'll let you guys see it over there. What it looks like. You see all these? It's now mm -hmm. green. I mean, it's easy to pick out and see, but... Did it weird. roll the damage or not? Oh, I did nine <laughs> points of damage. Sedashin. <laughs> all right, as it goes on through, causing it to be bloodied on a one strike. Very good. All right, and that is your turn. Flicker Wisp is gonna go ahead and try to uh, shock uh, Stitches right next to him. And let's see, that is gonna be a 25 to hit. Little old Stitches. Yep. All right. Uh, let's see, 1d8 plus two coming out. That's a, dude, I'm rolling ones on these d8s. So that's three <laughs> points of electric damage. What kind of dice? These are the new dice I got from Gen Con, so this might be might be changing fate for all my players at the tables here. Um, and it will go ahead and... Uh, when it's casting, is, is it just a casting spell? Or, like, would I get attack of opportunity? No, it is a melee. It's considered okay, it's a melee. melee. Okay. Basically, okay. it's just sitting there and all of a sudden, just, like, it's just like a bolt gotcha. of electricity comes out. Okay. Uh, so let's see here. This is... Oh, yeah, so it's going to go ahead and use its ability known as Flicker. And I need... Let's see. Uh, any adjacent characters that are not considered enemies. So Kamui and Stitches, I need will saves from the two of you, please. As these strange lights start going off and it starts flickering around you and trying to confuse you. 26. 26 is a success. Uh, Kamui, the 15 is a failure. You're confused for one round. All right, it's probably a phase. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this episode, or this, this podcast gets toastier and toastier. I love it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get to confuse on your next turn here. Uh, uh, Stitches. I didn't like that. Sorry. All Double right. Daggers. Double dagger. Double slice coming at you. That's two uh two rolls, right? Two rolls. Uh, one at full and the other one at a minus two, instead of the typical minus four. Is that a six or a nine? Uh. Unnatural 20 and a 16. Dirty 20 and a 16. The 20 will do it. The 16 is not going to do it. So don't don't forget, it's been a while. Do you want to try to intimidate it first so it's considered off guard to you because you have Dread oh. Striker? Yeah. Okay. I, so, I know it's been, it's been a while for you guys, so you, everyone's a little rusty here. Uh, so before, uh, I'll let you keep the hit. Go ahead and roll an Intimidation uh, roll So for Demoralize. So just roll Intimidation. One action to Demoralize. And uh, see if you get him... Uh, frightened one, because if you do, he's flat-footed to you, and you get your sneak attack. So we all want sneak attack. Um, don't you mean off guard? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> off guard. Uh, officially off guard. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My, my apologies. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen is the DC. It's frightened one. Look at that. Very good. You get that little bone bone. Easy. So now that's flat-footed. Go and add that D6 to your damage, and add your strength modifier. So two D4 plus D6. Add your strength. And tell me a total. Three, five, eight, eleven. Eleven. Look at that. That's way better. And that's enough for a kill as the flicker wisp kind of flickers out of existence. And I was to say, falls to the ground in its strange little hair like fashion. And you got one more action. So demoralize. Oh, no, it was double slice, though, right? It was double slice. Yeah. yeah. So never mind. That is all of your actions. We're in round two. Very effective so far. Shelly, what you got for me? Uh, Shelly's going to get the fuck up, reconstitute. All right, so... <laughs> reverse xylophone noises? <laughs> um, and uh, do you consider getting up? Do you also need me to pick up my weapon? Some DMs. Uh, no, only... So my, my ruling on that is only if you were knocked unconscious. Okay. Uh, so I get up. Uh, and uh, I, like I'm scratching my head, like trying to figure out where the fuck did that thing go. She's just gonna try to attack that spot where attack that la the spot yeah. where it was sitting yeah. there last. Let me, okay, let me do the 50 50 roll first. 50 50 little gamba. Uh, is it flat? It's flat. Uh, it's a nine. 
no, no go. So you miss mm -hmm. as you first strike is a miss. So, All right. So well, stand up. First action, second action, strike, miss. What you got for your third action? Another, another try. Another strike. Sometimes, okay. Sometimes just being stupid is the way to go, and that's not the way to go. Not the way to go this St time. Stay in school. Stay in school. 50 50. Loss on both. Bet red don't, on don't bet gamble. red on a roulette twice and lost both times. Don't gamble unless you're lucky and having fun. <laughs> unless you're lucky. <laughs> All right, and that gets rid of one level of frightened. You are only frightened one now. The Will O Wisp is up. It will go ahead and let's see. Does it have acrobatics? It does. It's going to go ahead and try an acrobatic check to tumble on through. That's going to be a 32 against uh, Kamui, your reflex DC. I'm pretty sure that gets through. That should easily get through, my friend. Yeah, mine's 17. All right. As this thing uh, just tumbles right on through you, it will come on out and reveal itself. And I need a... Uh, it's going to go for Myrtle because it doesn't know what to think of that aura. It is like, <laughs> it thinks you're charging up some sort of power. Um, so it's going to go ahead and make an attack roll against you using its shock ability. Oh my gosh, 14 again. 31 to hit. Crit. Crit. Uh, critical hit. Yikes, Aruni. All right, that's hopefully not going to be two ones on these D8s here. Brand new D8. Come on now. Uh, four and a one uh, is plus four. New dice are warming up. <laughs> new dice are warming up. So four, four, one, nine doubled. 18 points of electric damage coming at Damn. you. That should do double because it's uh, water. Her type is water, water type. Right? <laughs> she's water type. And in Pokemon, and, uh, you uh, you say that now until you die. <laughs> no, I'm, right now I'm ice. Oh, okay. That's true. The worst <laughs> type. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Shots so fired. As the shot goes off, <clears throat> uh, arc of the electricity will bounce off of Myrtle and, and hit me as the protector's vow will or protector oh, sacrifice. sacrifice and uh, how much do you do you, is that six, how much i believe six. wow i thought you would second guess with myrtle though <laughs> there there's hatred for myrtle but when i see myrtle i still see thassa oh oh <clears throat> like a reflection in the water yeah so is it six yeah i think it's six uh, right yeah i'm trying to it's three and you're level four so it's six right now okay that's correct all right, so six points of healing to you, uh, Myrtle, and six points of damage to Kamui as he takes six points of the damage. Very nice, as it will go ahead and try and shock Myrtle one more time. It was super effective. Ooh, natural <laughs> 18 is 35 lowered to a... 30. Hit. 30. Good thing that, that ain't crit, agile, though, right? huh? So we'll take yeah, that. Crit. Good thing that ain't agile. So 2d8 plus 4. Oh my god, a 1 and a 2. Oh my Woo. goodness. 7 points of electric. I, I'm wrong. Dog shit on these dice. We appreciate it. No, these are these are good GM dice. These are kind GM dice. Uh, the d20 isn't so kind, but the uh, the the damage rolls you are can, uh, You gotta your take favor. your battles someplace. Right, uh, right. Uh, and that's its turn. It's not gonna go invisible. It's feeling really confident. As I will go ahead and expose its percentage health bar. Yeah, I imagine that thing's full. Yep. Myrtle, you're up. Uh-huh, nice try, you little flaming shit. Whoa, <laughs> you don't know. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, he's flaming. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ocean bomb myself, so that's 2d8 healing. Nice. Eight, and I can't read that. Nine healing. Oh, oh rip. <laughs> but hey, at least you got the eight, though. High and low. Let's yeah. go. That's one action, not overflow. And then I'm going to tidal hands the Will O Wisp against the wall. Back up, bitch. Mm hmm. All right. And that is a reflex save. Reflex save mm. coming at you like Cleopatra. That is a 30. Uh-huh. <laughs> so about that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Is that a crit or no? Uh, it might be a crit. It's against save. class DC, right? 
Uh, oh. Yes, or spell DC, whichever's higher. Well, let's see. What's my spell DC? Oh, also 20. Yep. Yeah. Critical uh, hit. Basic reflex, so. Yeah, critical success. So, All right. No it, damage. Rip it. It moves out of the way. It just. Whoosh, no go. All right. Does your ice stuff stay up? Oh, the ice turns off because I overflowed. Because yeah. my aura, aura got spent. All right. Uh, you will hear. Uh, you'll hear the ghost to the east. Halfling, let me take your shadow so I may combat this creature. Don't do it. He's he ain't shit. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, fine. And he'll try to. Uh, let's see, does he fly? I assume he flies for movement. Uh, yeah, he flies. He'll just, just, well, fine. And he'll just have to spend double, uh, he'll have to spend two actions because he'll have to go up and over. Uh, so he'll get up and over and get uh, off guard with stitches against the creature. And we'll go ahead and strike with his ghostly hand. I forgot you're a halfling. Mm hmm. 24 <laughs> against... I thought he was talking to me. I was just going to yeah, ignore him. Yeah, I thought he was talking to Pocket. <laughs> no, no, no. 24 against the Will-O-Wisp is a miss. 24 against the Will-O-Wisp was a miss? That's correct. Nice. Oh, man. Come we Challenge. Challenge. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to attempt to intimidate it. Okay. I was trying to see if I wanted to use the mask or not. Now, but... hold on. Before we go and do that now, you are confused. We haven't dealt with confused yet. Uh, you don't yeah. have your wits about you, and you attack wildly. You are off guard. You don't treat anyone as your ally, though they may still treat you as theirs. You cannot delay, ready, or use reactions. You use all of your actions to strike or cast offensive cantrips, so you cannot use that challenge. That's my bad on that. Oh, okay. Uh, so... What I'm going to do is you have Shelly in your range. Basically, you have four people in your range. Mm -hmm. uh, at least your typical melee range. So you're going to roll a D4. One on the D4 is Thassa. Two is Shelly. Three is Stitches. And four is the Will-O-Wisp. You're going to attempt to just make basic old strikes. So D4 coming out. That's a one. So you're going to try and strike uh, Myrtle. Wow, this seems... Not again. Seems familiar. Familiar. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Is it just uh, I have to do all strikes? No, no. Just this is your first one. Very sorry. <laughs> Out of character. I'm very sorry. <laughs> hey, you suck. It's a seventeen. Miss. <laughs> yes. As you you can see, like you can see, like his um, like something about his eyes is a bit off as he's like trying to adjust to the light we've in been, here. We've been through this. Cue the Mario Party music. <laughs> right. who's, who's next? All right. <laughs> well, there's, well, there's a party man that wants to use the hero coin just because of the shit you're oh talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll that D4 there, Sam. Show us what you got. I'm supposed to get triggered by the enemies, not by the teammates. <laughs> not by the teammates. <laughs> What, what number was showing? Oh, one again. That is Myrtle again <laughs> as you attempt to re-strike or attempt to strike again. You guys were doing so well. Oh, that's a natural 18, though. For a 26, that'll hit boss, mm -hmm. I assume. Not a crit, though, right? No, no, no. no, no. That's all that matters. <laughs> all right, let's see it. I think going to roll max damage. Because, just, just for aesthetic point, because I'm confused, would I be using my sword? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was don't just get it, Don't get it twisted. Well, I mean, because, you know, I'm not being myself, so no, you're fine. I didn't know if I would still be using the sword. Ten points of slashing damage. Any reactions over there? Oh. Okay. Chop, chop. You got one more action God there, Kamui. Come damn Kamui, you piece of shit. <laughs> Stand out of there. Damn. Enemy. Enemy. Oh, don't forget to roll your D4. <laughs> Let me guess one. Yeah, if it's one again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die laughing. I'm sorry. No, it's a four. You go for the Will-O-Wisp, and you're like, oh, uh, sorry, sorry, and you go to a slash at the Will-O-Wisp, and uh, technically, that's a uh, critical failure. Wow, Gomenasai, I think is how they say it. Yeah, no, it's Gomenasari. <laughs> Damn. All right. Stitches, you're up. Does that end your confusion? Yeah, is the though? confusion done? Confusion or? is gone. That's okay. one round. No, <laughs> you sack of shit. Coming. Why is everybody always yelling at me? 
Sure. I was just trying to hit the wisp. I was As Myrtle pulls up her hand like she's missing a finger. <laughs> what oh, happened to you? <laughs> you cut me a you you bastard. <laughs> I have no blood on my sword. Explain this. <laughs> 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 oh, there is water. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The trust level between the two of you is going to be amazing. That was for Gretchen, maybe. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you going to stab her? <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right, you two. <laughs> I say as I'm, like, a little scared. Uh, <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Break it out. I, I don't have to intimidate it, right? Because no, it's already off guard to you. Okay. Then I will. Yeah. Unnatural 20. You got something. And an 18. <laughs> I, I realized uh, 20 and 18 both hit it. because of off guard. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. You said 20. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm thinking of a different creature. Both of those miss. I apologize. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was, I, was thinking, like, I, was yeah. the, I was looking at the flicker wrist to the, to the right of you, which is dead. So I'm like, oh, yeah. No, sorry. Those, both of those miss. That was intentional. Then then I try to frame it. Just, okay. just because. I don't like you. Everything's, again, it's a floating skull that's on fire. It's going to be pretty tough to hit. Uh, it seems quite agile. Uh, Liam, for namesake, um, I know at the start of my turn I couldn't use reactions. Will I be able to use a reaction if need be? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 23? 23 is one shy of a success. One shy. One shy. What check was it? Intimidation. It was an oh, it was intimidation. Oh. To demoralize. Mm, I'll get one charge. I'll okay. get next time. <laughs> As some sort of divine guidance guides you, when are you, you, you going to use it? Because it needs to be like it's hard to hit. All right, fine. Yeah, yeah. Amped guidance. Amped guidance. As it is frightened one. Ooh. Very good. All right. Unfortunately, your your position in the initiative is rough for that either yeah, way. Yeah, I was gonna say I was like it's gonna lose it. Yeah, it's gonna lose it. Can do anything. Oh. If Shelly doesn't hit it, yeah. We're in round three, Shelly. The battlefield. Everyone's on the west side. We got Otari on the on the far west, uh, in the corner of this uh, cavern area. The Willow Wisp is being surrounded by the rest of the party. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna magic missile. I don't, I'm not prepared for it with a, you know, I'm prepared one way, but not the other. So we're just gonna three times magic missile on this thing. All right, as you. Oh. Uh, what is it? Is it which D4? is good because you're frightened as well, which would be hard for you yeah, to strike too. Yeah, it's a too. D4 plus. He's frightened one. one. D4 plus one. Okay. He's frightened one or frightened two? He's frightened one. Uh, two. Four. Six. Three. Uh, it's something. Nine. nine points of damage. More than we've done. Nine <laughs> points of guaranteed damage. Trust me, I'm aware. Damn. All right. As you see a little bit, you see a little bit of the flame go out and sl- not able to re- quite recover all of it, uh, but all the damage goes through. All right, the will wisp is going to go ahead and let's see, uh, we'll go ahead and try and tumble through Myrtle's space. So let's spend its first action to tumble through. That is a... 30 to tumble through your space. I assume not a problem. <laughs> As it goes right right underneath. And it's going to go to shock Shelly because Shelly's the only one that's hit it so far. Uh, here we go. That's going to be a 22 to hit. Yep, that's a hit. All right. So 2d8 plus 4. 5 plus 4 is 9 points of electric damage coming at Shelly. It will spend its last action to shock Shelly again. As you guys have barely dealt any damage to this thing, it feels very confident. Uh, that's going to be a natural 18 for what would be a 34 lowered to a 29. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Hit no crits. All right, there are the numbers. 9 plus 4 is 13 points of electric damage coming out to Shelly. <laughs> As Shelly is now officially bloodied. Sure would suck if I had flesh. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there we go. 
as it is no longer frightened. Uh, Myrtle, you're up. I'm sorry. Uh, rechannel my elements. Okay. And uh, <laughs> since the last time I channeled element, I've learned how to read. And That's good. the winter sleet is an action, not a free action. So the aura is, uh, does not turn on. The, or the winter sleep does not turn on. Does not turn on. No, because that's an actual action that. Nice. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I learned how to read my ability too. All right. Uh, the free blast for doing channel element. Nice. Nice. 18. Nope. Nope. S step back one square. Mm hmm. And then blast again. All right. So step and blast. That one. Uh, sweet, deal. dude. <laughs> Don't Not work. quite. <laughs> As the ghostly figure is going to step forward and go to strike with his ghost hand, which is technically a rapier in this case, but it's just a ghostly rapier, uh, with uh, an attack roll here. That's going to be a 24. It's not going to do it. rolled really low there. Come on now. There we go. 14 is... We're at 20. That's going to hit. 29 will hit this Will-O-Wisp. Uh, and he will do uh, three, is it 3d6 plus six? Nice. So one, two, three, 3d6, five, five plus six, uh, so 10, six, 16 points of void, using the proper terms here, void mm. damage. Mm. 16. Mm. Mm. That damage looks familiar. Let's see if it does anything. That's my... Yep, it does take the damage as it, the creature is officially bloodied. As yeah, so step, strike, strike. Uh, with Skelly's its... going to be checking her books, and there's a lot of like redacted words that are like, "What? <laughs> when did that get changed to vo <laughs> vitality? What the hell? Why? Why? Why did my books get patched?" <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there's an always online. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> they, would probably, they, would, they could probably patch books in, uh, <laughs> like if, if they have like magic, right? <laughs> oh, like yeah, like it, like the big the big libraries and all that. Yeah, oh yeah. Did your big grimoire have DRM? To no book. No book. All right, uh, come we could. Okay, so this time I'm gonna challenge, attempt right. to intimidate, and then strike. Okay. You mean attack uh, Myrtle three times? Oh my dude! I, I will try. <laughs> I will try. Oh, 17 total? Uh, not gonna do well, it. It's not letting me do the uh, plus one, but I don't Oh, the I'm, circumstance bonus? Yeah, like eight? I wasn't trying to click. No, I was you're trying fine. to put eight, on the 18 circumstance. 18 ain't gonna do it either, brother. You got, you got some hero points over yeah, there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna use a hero point. Hero point coming out. I will go ahead and reroll that for you. Uh, reroll using a hero point and keep the higher result. Uh, 24. Uh, against the creature is exactly what you needed. Oh my gosh, you guys are barely getting this thing. All right, so for a free action, I'm gonna uh, use Warrior Shout warrior to extend shout. a resilient point to lock that in. Lock that shit in. Okay, and again, as a refresher to those who are listening, the way I'm doing his, uh, the way the creature will overcome the frightened condition is it's gonna work exactly like persistent damage. It gets a free check at the end of its turn every round. If it, uh, it's a DC 15, just like persistent damage, it can use an action to try and overcome it, which would be a uh, will, will, will save against the DC of the samurai. So, come we, what you got? Uh, okay, so then uh, challenge, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to attack it. Alrighty. There it is. Oh. What was it? The natural 20. Hell yeah. Critical hit. Would you like your crit card? Wait, what? Oh! What a so crit card? I'm going to give you guys as players crit cards. The en enemies will not get crit cards. So uh, this is a slashing attack. You literally just drew the best card. Decapitation. Triple damage. Crit effect. The target must succeed at a fortitude save or die. Wow. Gonna try a fortitude save. Uh, that's a 24 against your class DC. 20. Oh, yeah, it saves, so uh, it's fine there. But you get triple damage. So we're gonna go ahead and roll damage normally and just triple it. 
So okay, so just roll damage normal. Roll damage normally. How would you decapitate a flying skull? We're not going to talk about it right now. It's more of a metaphorical decapitation. <laughs> yes. Yes, there you go. See? <laughs> so 19 triple. <laughs> oh, baby, a triple. Oh, Mimi. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to do a slash roll 57 uh, plus 1d10 for the deadly, right? Deadly, or deadly d8, right? Uh, I want to say it's a d10 for the deadly. No, your de- your deadly should be d8 for the, for the weapon. Uh, yeah, deadly d8. Sorry, oh, I rolled a four either way. So, 61 points of damage. How do you destroy this creature, Kamui? <clears throat> he draws uh, a little. Cave. He decapitates it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just gonna, it, it just gonna hit right across the midsection of it, just through the jaw, the wings, or whatever. The, the so flame. the way the way I'm kind of seeing this, is you guys have all seen Kill Bill, right? Mm-hmm. You know wow. how she she cuts off uh, Onri Oishi's head, like head and her skull, like just slowly does the <laughs> d- diagonal oh, yeah. fall kind of sideways. I can kind of see that <laughs> as uh, it slowly falls to the ground, and that brings us out of this encounter. As you see the ghostly figure. Oh, you're, you are all quite impressive. Yeah, sometimes less times than others. Sorry for giving you shit. I was a stressful situation. Oh, you're fine. I, I was just trying to help, that's all. And I think you did? Kind of hard to tell with these things. Who are you? Oh, uh, apologies. What, what are you? I think he was in the bathtub. Was it him? No, I don't think you this is. Ba- I don't think this is a bathtub, Fred. <laughs> no, no I, I, I haven't taken a bath in quite some time. You should. It's good for the soul. Oops. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, he, uh, he'll say, he goes, "What are you all doing in the abomination <laughs> vaults? What are you doing uh, here? What does anybody do here? We just. We, I, I was suffering. I was a member of the Rose Guard." And you ah. all know that he's one of the original adventures, and the name Otari kind of sticks out. Hmm. The town was named after this guy. It's probably pretty important to the story. Eh. Um, mm. Get out of here. We, we, we were just on vacation here. Can I recall knowledge from that uh, about that one story we were told about uh, for the rhyme we found on the wall? And the one restroom about Otari being locked. Oh, did you find my messages above? I made those. The, did you follow the, the I, I, I tried to make a message that could move and bring you closer to me. Did it actually work? There was too many things to kill. Well, we got here. <laughs> not, not, not intentionally. Not, because, <laughs> not, <laughs> not intentionally. Not because of your messages. We just, we're trying to, you know, 100% completion here. She, <laughs> she fell down the, 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 the shoot. shoot. The shoot. The poop shoot. So you're here to get your platinum trophy? Yes. Okay. All right, Hand then. it over. I don't have your platinum trophy. I'm sorry. Um, what what happened to the other members of the Rose Guard? They are all dead. I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> what? He goes, what, what year is it? What year do you think it is? 4721. Puppet, do you even know what the earth is? I don't even know, I don't what, even year know what year is. is. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> he goes, did you say 4721? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my. Um, I was in a small vi- fishing. It was just a small fishing village. Didn't even have a name uh, above here. And... Uh, that was back in 4221. Well, now it's a medium fishing village. Oh, it's grown. Oh, That's wonderful. Bit. Above us is a castle. No, no, it, uh, it's it, close it, it, to, to, the, to the south of here should be a, a tiny, oh, tiny oh. little hamlet of a fishing village. Tiny little place. Yeah, it's big now. Oh. It is very big. Got a library. The Pretty Druid big. Circle. Well, what, the truth and everything. Lots of undead. Basically anything Lots you think of. of. Undead. Any... And what? Because I hate to sour the 
mood because but did my plan work had was did belcora die Ooh, about that <laughs> what's a belcora what a belcora is a she's a very as he, as he thinks you're a child just because he doesn't mm-hmm. know what to make of you okay we all treat him as a child uh belcora is <laughs> a very rude lady very powerful rude stitches lady. points up at 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 them <laughs> no we're far more powerful um hey less rude he, he's still pointing at them. Okay. <laughs> so it's hard to say if she. I can believe Belcor is nicer than you. It's hard to say if she's. <laughs> I don't know about that. She's definitely dead. I, I think we can all agree on that, right? Belcor is dead. No. Well, I, mean, I don't know. What do you she's, define as dead? She's still around, though. That's the thing. She's, so she's returned? Yeah. Of course. You know that. Like you. You returned. So not in the flesh. We have come across vestiges of her being. Really? But you no word of her in the flesh, though. I don't think we have anything like that. No, like any, the closest any, we've come is that blood mist. Blood thing. concrete yeah. information on Belcor is still around. Like, I mean, we've had physically. No, 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 no just like, your shoulder like, I don't know. I would not say <sighs> a physical form or manifestation of her, but we have found remnants from rituals I mean, and spells that she has casted plus certain contracts with demons have not what's your relationship dispersed. with her with belcora yeah surely not great the rose god attempted to kill her in in, in armed combat how that, that go? did not go very well at all I she see. is extremely powerful and i stayed here to to distract her while the rest of the Rose God made it out of the vaults alive, barely. Mm. So. A- out of character, do, but didn't he trap her technically? He did. Well, okay. basically, he, he but, made it to where it was harder for her to come all the way back up. Okay. Do we know that or is that. No. Would that okay. You don't know so that. I won't. You can ask him though. Like I said, I don't, I don't mind you asking for that. That's fine. We asked that. <laughs> Insert question. Uh, yeah. So, he goes, I, I made a barrier that made it far more difficult for her to chase us, um, but I had to essentially power it with my soul. Uh, hence, why I'm still trapped here. I don't want to. I want to make sure that she can't just leave. Are you the gaunt light? Hell no, is that thing still operational? Very much. That battlefield is completely, the battle station is completely <laughs> operational. No, sorry, I had to. Uh, he goes, wait. It has gotten worse. So, let me guess, let me. You all came to the, to the gauntlet and the, what you came to eventually know as the abomination vaults because I assume it has been 500 years. It's reawakened, hasn't it? Yeah. If you mean summoning random zombies and monsters to kill everybody. Yes, it's capable of summoning the and undead and reparations. She, should we kill her? <laughs> no. Are you saying it created you or it summoned you? Yeah, it's complicated. Not no, Jenny. Not. <laughs> I, I was going to say, shine in the grave. <laughs> I want you to look at it and you goes up out. and gives her a hug on the leg. Like, pretty not easy. No, it's just, it's, no, it's strange. I, I've never run into a an undead like yourself. Neither have I. But, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I won't treat you any differently because I, I view you the same way. <laughs> I'm not racist, but... No, no, no. I, I think of you as a vampire. Not all vampires are evil. Right. Even though they are inherently evil. Right. She, what's a vampire? She did kill a vampire. A vampire is someone that bites you and keeps you alive for a very long time. It's after blood. Very, very interesting type. Lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> very <laughs> lawyers. That's a good one. What's, I like what's that. that? Um, does he have any information on that one wizard that I, I ran across that I know about that told me about Shelly's past? The Oh, the mysterious stranger. Yeah, the mysterious stranger. Uh, he goes, No, I'm not familiar with this uh, this person you speak of. As you like, you give him every detail you can remember. Yeah, okay. It's like, no, I'm not 
not familiar with this stranger. So are you um are you very versed in the uh I'm abomination in the occult. In the, but in the abomination vaults. A decent amount. Uh, so you can't give us a full map. I can't give you a full map, but I can give you access to the floor below. Ooh, that's where we need to go to be level five. That is how you ascend to the fifth level. <laughs> yes, descend. So it's down, but up? No, your but ascension down. as a character will go to fifth level. Our strength lies as you within. descend into the vault. Our strength lies below. Our strength lies in not dying. However, you do, uh, because I would just open the door for you, but there are some, there is some sort of uh, strange entities that have, or th- they're not strange. The Flicker Wisps you all fought here? Yeah. Yes. Uh, they've, um, as of recently, decided to make housing in what appears to be what was a, um, was just kind of leveled stone, has been turned into a shrine recently to a deity of one of the most cruel, uh, an outer god, as a matter of fact, Nimbaloth. Nimbaloth, that's the, uh... The one light on his feet. (laughs) It's in his name. Uh, Natural one. Natural one. As you think it's, uh, you, you, uh, I'm this. I'm thinking of Nazgoth. Yeah, you think of, like, Nazgoth, and he's... No, 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 uh, there's... Nibeloth is the deity, uh, known as the Empty Death. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> Duh! I was testing you. Not stupid. <laughs> well, I... how's that a problem, though? We, like, beat these things up pretty... Handedly. Um, can I put my hand on Myrtle uh, while we're talking and everything and, and heal her while well, with lay on hands? Fix her finger. Uh, sure. Yeah, so 12 hit points, yeah? Yeah, and I'll just say, I'm sorry. And that's it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then she'll return the favor and splash with water. <laughs> or... <laughs> See, we can all get along. Either way. Um... So uh, nine healing. I don't see the issue though. Then she'll splash you too. Can we not just go there? Or it. Okay. Is I don't have a cooldown on mine. Do so. do you know how to fix the gauntlet? Fix the gauntlet. He goes. I, I'm not a mason. Um, but uh, to um, disable the ability to generate or revitalize these the undead. I think we're asking a lot out of a ghost. He goes, no, no, no. He goes, there's a valid question. The source of the power of the gauntlet comes from the very, very bottom. Uh, the, the final, or if I recall, it's five or, five or six more stories down below. He goes, it's Jesus. been so long. We're pretty much halfway there. How far down does it go? Oh, we're halfway. I believe the abomination vault is eight or nine floors. Again, it's been so long. I, I've been here for so long. I've started to forget. Um, but when I fought her in that room, there was so many. There was so much void energy around uh, hmm. that it was some sort of like. It definitely seemed like some sort of battery ritual focus that she drew this power from. Uh, it, 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 she's not She's not just sitting down there and doing some sort of incantation. There is definitely, it's, it is being fed. That's uh, very negative. Sorry, are you gonna, uh, be, are you gonna be like uh, dissipating anytime soon? <laughs> I, actually, I was curious about that too. Like, do we need to help him go to rest? <laughs> yeah. He goes, like, he goes, the rest, he goes, my rest will come. He goes, oh, he goes, I can choose to sever the tie to the door. He goes, but doing so will release my soul. He goes, so I've stayed here to ensure that that barrier doesn't fall or anyone who is foolish enough to come down here and not know what was down below could not just simply walk down further. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Griffin. 
Uh, we would not want someone to find items and take back up that kills no. villages. We're, no, I just, I was wondering if you had any unfinished business that you wanted me to take care of. I'm very respectful of the dead, you know, because I wink, am nudge, one. Nudge. Um, because, no, I, I, I just needed to know, well, because, well, the question I have before I open that door for you is one do you want me to open the door? Are you willing to take on the risk of dying to Valcora? You know, the it goes, I'm not saying that... <laughs> I'm not the best one to ask you. I'm not saying <laughs> you all are, are, are weak, but the Rose Guard, we were quite a bit more fit for the job than you all are, and not to say you all can't grow and you all can't progress and get stronger but are you willing to take on that risk of I said the only reason my party made it out is because I had to stay here and die do you truly think that we can't make it like in your honest opinion or okay so just just a question we have to go through this door to go down lower correct he he is literally the key there's no physical other way to go down lower no uh yeah Sure, whatever. I don't care. Wait, no, I need to give more conviction than that. I, I think. think we should go to town first and procure supplies we may need. We can also don't, finish don't. looking around the floor, too. To- we just leave him here? He has nowhere to go as of yeah, now. Yeah, he could wait another week. He's fine. <laughs> we can't, we can't give him such wishy-washy answers. This man's been waiting for well, years. I'm not saying he can no. Wait I'm saying week. I'm down to do it. He's been waiting 500 years. You can wait 500 years in a week. <laughs> but at the same time, we have no idea what we're gonna come across, and we already learned that you don't have certain scrolls we could use or mm. could need, and I only have one potion myself. So if we get into I trouble, think we're, I think we're good to keep going. We just got here. Goes, well, I do have some equipment you can borrow. My old bag still has my equipment. Damn, Kelly's gonna goes, go and run. And the bag is matched. He goes, the, essentially the the bag is kept things fine. Wow, so. I haven't seen this thing since like. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there are some thieves' tools inside. So uh, so there's thieves tools inside. Uh, there's studded leather, leather armor that has a... Uh, yeah, it says plus one studded leather, but you guys are using APB. Um, and there is a unique looking dagger. Uh, who here has identification capability? Ooh. Ooh. Let's go ahead and see some identification rolls. Would it be my like actual spell casting with occultism through psychic or nature because that's my base class but it's not like magic typically. what i will let you use whatever is better it does not bother me okay. it does not bother me at all uh 30 oh yeah this is a dagger of venom as you see uh, this dagger has a greenish tinge in the blade the hilt is sculpted to look like the head of a serpent about to strike when you critically succeed on the attack roll using a dagger of venom uh, the target becomes sick in one unless it succeeds. It says a DC 19 fortitude save. I'll allow you to use your class DC as well. But whichever is higher, because that's how I scale weapons, so they're always useful. Oh, for one of you stabby types. Huh? I won't use it. Oh, a dagger for the dagger wielding poppet. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't use it. All right, as add a dagger of venom to your inventory, and you can use that thing. Throw it once. They won't come back, though. <laughs> yeah, you'll need to get your returning rune. Uh, oh, wait. D- does you, you have doubling rings, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it just it copies it over. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. As you take the one action to, uh, what's it, attune to it? Yeah. Or uh, what's, what's not attune to it? Fuck. Uh, invest. Invest into the item. Uh, he also has a sneaky key that you identify. Um, you can affix this to an armor. It's a talisman. You're an expert in thievery. Uh, essentially, you, when you, if you critically fail a lock picking attempt, you can just fail instead, so you don't break your picks. Nice. Oh, are you better at lock picking these days? Uh, I think Boldy you tried and sucked. 
Okay. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Dude. You know what? Unlock your own damn doors. <laughs> Here. Uh, by the way, I already used that. So. Uh, my my favorite is at plus eight. What about you? Same. Okay, so we're both good. Uh, I'll I'll give you know, to like Shelly. Shelly. I'll give. Uh, I'll give stitches the thieves tools, and okay. I'll give the armor to Conway so we can sell it in town. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, this is cool stuff. Cool stuff. Kind of old, but cool. Uh, I'm glad I could help. I think we're ready to keep going, though. All right, then. If you are willing to take on the risk, let me know. He was just, uh, he was, well, I guess I'll just let me know when you're ready for me to go over there and open the door. But I just ask that you at least clear that altar that has been created. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, yeah, easy. Uh, we, we clear altars all the time. You, you want to take some <laughs> sips first? Yeah, I'm, I I take time to heal up. Yeah, I would say you, uh, it's been, I'll say 20 minutes so you can get your second oh, hand. Oh, I'll, I'll just bomb the full. Yeah. Okay. All right, as everyone heals over time, out of combat. Cool. Um, let me make sure there's. Well, I do still have my demon mask. Um, namesake, I get back both focus points. Uh, yes. Okay. What a wild life world we live in, where you can get all your focus points back. Oh my god! Super reasonable. <laughs> it's insane. Now, if only I could have ten focus points at level two. Well, I, I, uh, what? No, <laughs> no, that would be horrible. All right, as you all make your way back towards the pavilion, and you then go ahead and move up. Uh, are you guys going to go onto the pavilion and head north, or are you guys going to head northwest where he told you to go clear that altar? Let's go explore a bit. Also, I mean, I'm fine a... with exploring. I'm also fine with going and dying. What's the difference? Yeah. All right, we can do north. Shelly's not the bag either way. <laughs> we got the bag. Oh, the, the bag is just a it's just a common bag. You you he wants it though. <laughs> you want a back? You can add a backpack into your inventory. You can you fit really in want a backpack the bag. Into Why do you need a bag? He's, Sorry, could I? It's a jam for it. He wants it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as Myrtle uh, conjures the element and kind of focuses as you kind of craft. Uh, I'll say like ice stairs that people can kind of climb up onto yeah. uh, kind of doing a variant of the, the earth, base kinesis the I'm, earth. Uh, I'm looking back at our party I'm like look at Kamui and I'm like you know it's kind of like we got baby squad back here again <laughs> <laughs> we got toddler squad Oh, okay. well, to be honest I forgot that Myrtle's a halfling this whole time I, I've been thinking I'm like no, she was a full sized woman yeah yeah no. No, she grew a couple inches, so she's like four or five now. Damn. I'm still looking down at you hardcore. Like, yeah, you're looking down here, huh? Yeah, look, look, looking where you don't need to be looking. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go north. All right, so you guys make it to the pavilion. And uh, what's the order of march here? Because it becomes a, it can becomes a five foot hallway. Uh, I'll, I'll go first. Kamui. I'll go behind him. Okay. I'll go next. And Mer uh, baby squad <laughs> in the back. Myrtle squad in the back. All right. Actually, Squirtle Myrtle. could I sit on your shoulder? I was going to ask that. Can I just be his personal transport right now? Yeah, so uh, that's fine. You, you can you can do that. Uh, yeah. There there are, are, are there are actually rules for riding on PC's shoulders that's typically reserved for tiny creatures, but I'll, I'll allow it. It's fine. Okay. You're okay. strong enough for that shit. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in combat, if you actually want to stay on his shoulders, both of you would only get two actions a turn, but he would be considered sharing space with you. Oh, okay. Okay. If you wanted to do that. No. I like my action economy. <laughs> oh, I know. Dude, having one less action is brutal. Uh, uh, all right. I'm just going to kick the door in. Wow. Well, I mean, I'm not going to wow. wait for you. That takes me back. <laughs> Six months ago. All right. Little clutches of pearls. As you kick the door open, you're met yeah. 10 feet yeah. later with another door. Come on. Skelly's thinking of herself. She won't <laughs> do, do it, it again. She won't do it again. It's too much of a. <laughs> Here, hearing their bans, <laughs> hearing their banter, I just kick it in again. Except I'm trying to actually break Let's it this time. Go. <laughs> As you kick open the door, 
Oh no, he looks confused again. Stand back. Uh, Stand back. You right is right. I'm gonna to go to the right. Left. <laughs> you look to your left and there's stairs going up. You look to your right. So to the east, there's stairs going down, and to your west, stairs going up. Five going, foot hallway. Going down. Going down as Kamui begins to head downward, and everyone is following here. Well, I'm on his shoulder, so I don't have a choice. True, true. <laughs> this is true. Let's see here. As Shelly goes forward. Okay. So we're going, you're going uh, towards, towards the east? Yeah. And heading yeah. to the I'm end of the go hall. Down about, and turn. about 30 feet from, uh, you were in the center of the hallway. As you head on down, stitches on your back, you see stairs. Uh, to, basically, you see a hallway that goes north, about 60 feet. Stairs that keep going down and keep going down. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. So let me go ahead and just do this as you continue to walk. And Shelly and Myrtle follow. Uh, you guys are, you guys just keep going, keep going north. Yeah, any door I come up to, I'm just going to kick in. All right. Like I said, just a five foot wide hallway here. Ooh, I love the as, confident. As you. <laughs> More like anxiety. As you Same make sometimes. your way <laughs> to the end of the hallway, and again, it forces you to go west to the left. Two sets of stairs going down. I bubble up in there. So you keep going <laughs> down, and uh, you keep going down. And uh, one moment here. Mm. Mm. Oh, nice rolling behind the screen. That's always good, right? As Kamui and Shelly, you spot... Um, oh, I need to adjust the uh, adjust this here. There we go. Uh, you spot about halfway through the hallways, you guys have taken two left turns going downstairs. You notice the wall in the center of this hallway has a strange little outline in the shape of a door. Like, you have to really look. Like, you ever done, like, magic eyes? Those, like, little paper eye tricks? Like, you barely, barely see an outline. But it catches your eyes. Like, something's off for a second. You kind of basically, as you're moving, you notice that the, this one part of the wall doesn't quite shift the same way. Um, so while we're, we're walking towards the door, I, I shout back to Myrtle, Do you sense anything, Mata? Any kind of magic anywhere? Make a occultism check. You got that right. Yeah. Ten. You don't sense anything. Great. So. Uh, and I didn't see nothing. No, I said. Well, I'm assuming Kamui and Shelly pointed out to you. Mm-hmm. As you, like I said, you, you yeah, see. Yeah, you're this. on my shoulders. So yeah, you're, you see, yeah. you like, hey, look, you, you, you kind of see that frame. You see that frame. And. Uh, I inspect it to see if there's any traps. Oh no no no! We're 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 past that at this point. I'm I'm gonna be pushing, trying to push the door in. Okay. As uh, you go to, because I'm gonna think Myrtle's like, no, I don't sense anything, so I'm gonna think it's okay. Okay. So then, uh, <laughs> you trust in your comrade, is what you're telling yeah, me. Yeah, I trust that she would oh sense God. something if there was anything significant for me to worry about. I think she meant. No, you know what? No. No no no! We're 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 here. I I, I think she meant. I'm pretty sure she meant that she couldn't do yeah. it because she, whatever, let's open it. What are you talking about? Come on, what are you doing? Shelly does not believe in your skills as I do. And then I try to push. As you go to us, like you actually see, like you, your hand goes right through the wall. Oh, that, that's magic, isn't it? Does anyone here that's played like Dark Souls or any kind of game, like it's an illusory wall. Oh, that's what the scratch marks on the floor were for. Oh. <laughs> I look at the floor. There are no scratches. We're not, we're, not connect, we're not always online. I'm sorry. Yeah. Huge chest ahead. Right. We'll go inside. <laughs> Roll against the wall. All right. As a, there's a door sound. Like there's no actual door sound, but um, like I said, uh, you, there's a door. Now that you've interacted with it and everyone's seen your you, like your arm like literally halfway through the wall, everyone disbelieves the illusion and. The wall, dis- like the door, reveals itself. Uh, I'll enter. All right. As you enter, you see a wall in front of you. Five feet later, I don't believe this is real. Um, you can attempt to interact with it if you want to. Sure. All right. As you make a perception check, 
uh, 13, as you go to place your hand, it 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 feels like solid wall. I, I look to see if I can just nonchalantly see a uh, trap or anything. Make a perception check. While I'm feeling the wall, does this feel solid? Or feels does this solid? feel like maybe something nope. I could destroy? You can always attempt to destroy it, but like I said, you, with the weapon you have, it wouldn't be the wisest yeah, idea. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, I would, I would assume like put it, pulling out my buckler and trying to run into it with it. It's a tactic. Um, a tactic. Before you do that, that's a, that's a, that is a that's tactic. Before I do it, what would you? Before like you to do, do that, seeing that there's another illusion, uh, it... try to ping again for detect okay. magic. Make a uh, make an occult check. Uh, As she's ping and I'm like pulling the buckler out. I'm like, all right, here we go. Let's get oh. it you ready? Twelve. 12. Nope, you're having a tough time you guys, sensing. Myrtle re believes the first illusion, just that it seals off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it gets sealed behind the door. Can I try doing some esoteric? Oh, we'll, we'll just say we'll it. See it as I esoteric. still believe in you because I just thought that it was a stroke of luck. <laughs> What'd you roll? I'm shit talker. I'm tired of this shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hero points coming out today. Natural 20. <laughs> Natural 20. Natural 20. Critical success. Cool. <laughs> I was like, no, it's right here. Yeah. Right here. And like you actually outline it and. She interacts with the wall. Everyone sees it and immediately disbelieves the illusion. As you open up the door and Kamui moves in with stitches on shoulder, Shelly behind and Myrtle in the back. Uh, give me one moment here. This room was once a comfortable sitting room with a low-end table. Oh, sorry, with, uh, with two chairs and a low-end table in between them. In a brief vision, you see Belcora meeting with a drow that you notice very quickly as Volok Azenray in the flesh and not a man of made of worms. I, uh, you see the man that killed your father. I, I just instinctively jump in. You, you jump in and you go to you go to ah, ah, you go to go to go to strike with the daggers and they just warp straight through. This is clearly just a vision, and you see like you see them talking and they seem to be they seem to be discussing something important, but there's no sound between the two of them. You just see some sort of vision, as uh, like I said, your interaction is uh, as it doesn't actually. What is the point of this? <laughs> yeah, can I peer around the room and then look at anything? See if peer around anything? the room. A pair of double doors provides exit from this room. One is uh, uh no, that doesn't actually help. Um, it's, as you, it seems to be some sort of suite, like because like I said, you can see a door to the right. This seems to be like a well maintained suite. Obviously, it's covered in cobwebs now, but it looks to be like a multi room suite. We have come this far. We might as well continue. And, sure. Um, Was there anything on the table, like ethereal, or oh, when they were having the vision? Yeah. Um, like I said, he he, Volik, probably I said they would just look ghostly, so you wouldn't see color. But you saw Volik had some sort of gem on the table that did not look like an ordinary gem. It was probably. Uh, the size of be larger than a golf ball, not quite as big as a baseball. Be a large, very ornate, yeah, like a button, the size of like a button. Very good, like um, like a pin, a button with a pin that you pin on your shirt. Would we know if that had any? Uh, would we know if that's similar to the gems that they were using for the uh me- mechanism? The soul-bound dolls, yes. Okay. Yes, the mechanism you found up top. Uh, I'm going to go to the doors and, and push them open. All right. This is a normal looking door over here. Um, as you go to open the second door, the, the illusion comes to a close as a second one begin. There is more in here. As you all, all right. walk inside to see another vision. Our core is so extra. <laughs> This, is so, this is so unnecessary. Uh, when you, rich, 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 rich and bored, right? Uh, or, originally a lounge with two plush divans, this room flashes an image of Belcora relaxing while reading a large tome. Make a perception check, everybody. 
21. 21? Okay. 16. I think mine's a 22. Yours is a 22. All right. right. Anyone that had an 18 or higher, you can... hmm? 21. 21? Okay. Anyone that's 18 or higher, you can see this old book actually had a title, and it looks like an early copy of The Whispering Reeds. The book that caused so much issue in this party. <laughs> she's just casually reading it in the bathtub. Or I guess she's not in the bathtub. Oh, no, she's oh, no. she's, this is she's on the like couch. A... Her like feet are kicking. Like <laughs> this is like one of those like therapy. Couches. She's like twirling her hair. I just look back at Shelley. Just like what is a whispering read? I literally can't read whatever that says. It it, it says whispering reads. It's. Right, right, right there. It's and too I'm pointing right to it, like. Then, well, like eventually, they, they, they. I don't uh, have eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, because that stopped you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. As, as as they can point it out to you, though. Um. Oh my God! It's the book I gave away for fifty gold. Wait, the mm-hmm. one that that everybody gold, gets mad bodies. at you about? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. Uh. Sorry. What was your? Oh, I was saying. Uh, the book that everybody gets mad yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, that one. All right, well, the, uh, Stitches is asking the party. Yeah, it's that book. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay. not, not that mad at me. It's an book. evil book. Uh, <laughs> Don't, if you ever see it, do not open it. Do not read it. I, I see it right there. That's not real, though. That's like a fake one. But I didn't open it, but it's open. No, it's, uh, yeah, but read you it. can't read it. It, it, it. Can tell. I even read what, whatever page is open? No, no. No. Is so there. Anything in this room? Yeah, this I check the drawers. Illusion. Besides the illusion. Besides the illusion. I'll go check the drawers. Yeah, so. No? Okay. Uh, the drawers oh. empty. There's nothing in there. Probably on to the next room. I get it. She's reading. A L- little flustered. I'll go, I'll go to the, the next set of doors and push them over a little bit more aggressively because I'm reminded about what happened with the book. Oh, getting a little tilted. Tilted Kamui. We'd love to see it, folks. As a third vision. That sounds like a drink name. You should give everybody in the party a drink. Third vision. <laughs> a well-set table reveals this once to have been Belcora's private dining room. In this image, she sit, sits alone at a table, drinking a glass of wine and enjoying an elegantly plated roast arm that looks disturbingly human. Just going to walk in, ignore it, because... As Kamui's had enough yeah. of this bullshit. This feels like um, it's a small world. <laughs> so like, Balcor is a little evil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I was we thinking know the same bad. thing actually. <laughs> there's nothing else in the room. No, like I say, everything is uh, like I said, there's like a pitcher on the table, but there's nothing in it. It's just Balcora covered in dust. After all. Is the Cora after all? I can, I can imagine them seeing this yeah, in, like, in character, pissing me off in further. As Tumblr's like, God, turn! He just starts breaking down the door. All right. Yeah, as... I, do, I just, like, literally, you guys just see me go to the door, not hesitate, just slam both hands into it. Not carrying my weapon at this point because I'm worried if I'm holding the sword. Ooh, I bet you something funny is going to happen in this room. <laughs> Belcora's bedroom, as the the, the prior vision stops. Mm. The I west don't... room. <laughs> Anybody Belcora's knows the music changed? bedroom features a large <laughs> bed along the west wall, a stone mm. archway. I, I run into uh, up to and the down north. The bed. Shimmers as a portal opens. And Belcora steps through with a cruel smile on her lips and blood on her hands. As you see her laughing. And uh and as she uh, as she's laughing, she stops, looks over to you, Kamui, and then looks over towards the bed. As something begins to apparate, you see these mult this multi tendrilled creature so now, you, don't, you don't get to close the door motherfucker no no, no. i was gonna say so b- before as this thing's so this is where i'm at okay i'm just frustrated oh, they have annoyed the shit out of me <laughs> without thinking kamui made a gesture that he's seen other people do where he just flicks off belcora <laughs> because he thinks it's just another way of saying hello no no like it's another uh Projected projection. 
Illusion? Oh, just an yeah, illusion. So I'm not <laughs> comprehending anything because I'm I'm so frustrated by them <laughs> that I'm I'm just It's just a reaction. Yeah, I'm, I'm just <laughs> flicking her off saying, This is all your damn fault. Alright. As you guys see this creature mm. seven tendrils with seven fingers each. Uh mm. how do I describe this thing? That's a, that's a hard one to describe. Uh Let's see. <laughs> I could just see myself looking at Belcor <laughs> as these tendrils appears, come up. It appears as a seething sphere of glowing eyes swirling around an empty black vortex four feet wide. From within the vortex extend long semi-transparent tendrils that end in a seven finger seven figure seven fingered needled hands. We're gonna end this session with hopefully a successful esoteric exploit vulnerability. Yeah, let's not count it, though. Um, 20, 24? 24. This is a void glutton. We'll see you next time, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's Balcora. 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 I hate you guys. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Later. <laughs> There's your episode title. Fucking each always it's about Cora after all. About Cora explains it all. <laughs>Cardinal Adventures uses trademarks and or copyrights owned by Paizo Incorporated, used under Paizo's community use policy. We are expressly prohibited from charging you to use or access this content. Cardinal Adventures is not published, endorsed, or specifically approved by Paizo. For more information about Paizo Incorporated and Paizo products, visit paizo.com. That's P-A-I-Z-O.com. The player's characters within this show are property of Cardinal Adventures. Music provided by Shahid Mostafafar, Jacob Petrus, William Van de Kromert, Ziv Moran, and Sirenscape.